Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us here for your word for the day. I got a question as we get started, and that is, what is your favorite beverage? Maybe it's coffee. Maybe you've got a soda, a pop, a Coke, a carbonated beverage, whatever you call it where you're from. Maybe you've got a favorite fancy coffee or a sports drink your favorite, or maybe you're a diehard water fan, and you've got your favorite brand of water, and Hopefully that's not Arrowhead, but maybe you're one of those three people in the world that likes the taste of that. Anyways, I, I'm off track. What's your favorite drink? I'm guessing that whatever your favorite drink is, that you know that you like it. That's why it's your favorite, and that you crave it at some sort of frequency. See, I've got a couple for me. Aside from water, I love Arizona iced tea. I've got my favorite frozen coffee drink from my favorite local shop. and I know I like these. I've tasted that they're good, so I get the same thing whenever I need them. I crave them, and I'll often go out of my way to go get them if it's been too long since I've had them. And there's a spiritual implication for us here as well. See, we're told in Scripture that we're to have the same outlook when it comes to Scripture. See, in 1 Peter chapter 2, it says this. It says, Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. See, we're, we're told here to have the same uh, craving that the infants have for milk, the same way you crave coffee or your favorite soda. We're to crave God's word in our life so we can continue to grow in our faith and obedience to God. So today the question is, have you tasted that the Lord is good? Have you experienced his grace and goodness in your life? Have you seen how he loves and cares for you? Have you seen his redemption and work in your life? If so, then let that grow a craving and desire for more of him in your life so that you can continue to grow closer to him. So today, as you sip on your favorite drink, maybe that's right now with a cup of coffee or, or your favorite drink in the middle of the day, wherever you're at, as you do that, let me encourage you to be at work developing that same craving for God's word in your life so that you can grow closer to him in your faith. Hope that you have a great and refreshing day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.